Hey guys, what's up? Tyler here with T-Game and Tech, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Silver Lunatic, and this is basically a watch band for your iPod Nano 6th generation, and this is going to run you about $80 on their website, and you can try to buy them other places online, but some of them are fake retailers. Um, iTech224 actually made a video covering fake lunatics versus real lunatics, so you can check that out here. I'll put an annotation somewhere. You can watch his video. Um, so if you want to get the real deal from them, you're probably going to have to pay the $80. Um, that might sound like a lot, but we're just going to go over this review and you guys can make the decision whether or not you think it's worth picking up. So this is the watch band itself right here. It is made out of a silicone rubber. It does have an anti-dust coating on it, and I will say that I have not seen dust sit on it or fall on it, um, so it seems to work. Um, this is made of aircraft aluminum, the actual casing, and it's held together by two screws. Um, they look to be like kind of hex screws, but they do give you an Allen wrench or an Allen tool. Um, to actually help screw and unscrew the actual um, screws. Um, but as you can see, it has a little um, plug right here that you can adjust. You can take that out, move it to wherever you want. I'm just going to stick it back if that was the one it was in. And that's to actually, when you stick your watch band through, just to actually hold your watch band in. And that way, it's not just fl flapping back and forth. So we just take that apart. Um, it does have two little rubber um, stops here on the inside to help stop your iPod Nano from scratching the back. Um, your clip will go through here, um, but this is nice. I'm glad they have this here. That way it doesn't scratch up the back of my Nano. Um, so I'm just going to take this apart, show you guys how easy it is to take apart, and then I'm going to slide the iPod Nano in. So basically you kind of have to set this down to do this. I'm going to try to do it without setting it down. You have to put one tool in one end. It's always harder doing this stuff on camera. Put one tool in one end and one in the other. And just unscrew it. It doesn't matter which one you unscrew with. You can unscrew with the other one if you really wanted to. And the screw just fell. I'll have to pick that up. And we'll unscrew this one. Hopefully we won't lose a screw on the floor with this one. So that is right there. And it just falls apart. So I found the screw that it dropped, so now we're going to put the iPod Nano in, and you can stick it in either way, it really doesn't matter, um, it's more of a personal preference for you. Um, it slides in both this way, and this way. I'm going to keep it in this way, and I do have a screen protector on my iPod Nano right now, and as you can see it popped up a little bit right there, usually that doesn't happen, so if you just slide it back out, slide it back in right there, screen protector is fine. Um, it does work with screen protectors. So we'll just take the other end and stick it on like so. So I don't have them screwed in the comp completely, but for the sake of this review, I'm not going to sit here and try to screw them in. Um, but this is what it looks like after it is all put together. Um, it looks very nice in my opinion. Um, it looks very stylish, if you will say. Um, definitely, I'd rather wear this out in public than the ticker. I have worn this out in public, and people have said, you know, wow, what is that? You know, is that an iPod? Um, it has caught a lot of people's attention, um, so I guess that's a good thing. And so I don't have a problem wearing it. I think it's comfortable. I mean, you can see it's on my arm right now. Um, I think it's really comfortable. I mean, even if it's a little bit tight, I usually like my watch is loose. But I think it's comfortable like that. And right there, my iPod wasn't even on. Um, so you can just access all your buttons here. Here's your lock button. And then your volume buttons. And then your 30-pin dock connector. And then your headphone jack. Um, so something I really don't like about this is the way that the buttons are set up. This is the orientation of the iPod Nano. Um, I like the buttons on the top, like the ticker. I think that worked a lot better. Um, it's kind of awkward because you have to kind of move your hand right like this or um, just awkward, at least for me, to actually try to hit the buttons on the actual um, watch, on the actual iPod. Um, but it's not really a, that big of a deal. I mean, I I usually press the button before I bring it up to my arm like that. Um, but with the ticker, I could just bring it up, press it on the top. But with the ticker, you didn't have the 30-pin dock connector open. With this one, you can. So you don't have to take this apart every time you want to charge it, which is a plus. So as you saw before, I had to take some time to unscrew it and then put the iPod in and screw it. Um, that would be one of my major drawbacks, I think, because just the time you're taking to sit here and unscrew it, screw it back in. But the dock connector opening helps with that. You don't have to take it out to charge it. But if you want to take it out, just use it as an iPod. Or you don't want it in the case or in the watch. I mean, you're going to have to sit down and unscrew it. And if you don't have your tools with you, it doesn't take just a standard screwdriver. So you're going to have to make sure you have your tools with you if you want to take it apart or get, try to find somewhere else that sells the same kind of tool. So that could be one main drawback. The other drawback would probably be the price. 
Um, I know a lot of people aren't looking to drop $80 for a watch band like this, um, but I think it might be a little bit overpriced, but it's really nice quality, really great quality. Um, I haven't had any issues with the quality so far at all. Um, this, like I said, the band feels great. Um, this is aircraft aluminum. It's heavy duty. Um, I've dropped this a couple of times and it hasn't nicked it up at all. I um, mean, it's protected my iPod. And so I think you are getting great quality, but I think the price might be a little bit expensive. So I do really like this watch band. I wear it almost every day. I'm um, really no complaints besides the things that I've mentioned, the button placement and the having to unscrew it and screw it. It takes a little bit of time, but I just think it's really comfortable. Um, like I said, it might be a little bit overpriced for most people, but if you're looking to actually pick it up, I would suggest just going to the website and paying the $80 rather than taking a risk and getting a fake one for 30 bucks. Um, like I said, Matt from iTech224 did a video of describing the differences, and there are actual build differences and quality differences within the two different products, the fake and the real one. So that has been my review of the Silver Lunatic. If you're interested more in the Lunatic's products, I'll put a link in the description below. They have different kinds of watch bands. They have ones with metal links. They have a couple cheaper ones. Um, they have a very large selection um, and wide price range. And also, don't forget to check out all my social links below. Um, you can follow me on Twitter, Google+, subscribe to my vlog channel, all that kind of stuff. And make sure you subscribe to this channel for more tech and game related videos, and there will be more to come. So like always, thank you guys for watching my video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.